What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome to my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Taurus, and you enjoy my content, if you can ring the little bell and buy my soul time, I super duper appreciate the same thing saying. This is a um, weekly reading for Sign of Taurus. I apologize, I'm a little late for it. I was arrested the night that I meant to, uh, was going to start the weekly reading, so I do apologize for that. Um, disturbing the peace on my own property because they were trying to take my kids away without my authorization or consent. Um, but I'm back now, so I do apologize for that. Um, this can resonate if you have um, Taurus to any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Haven, or Jupiter charts. I got two uh, channeled in as I was meditating on your weekly energy. Um, and the first one uh, I received was um, someone's dirty setup plan is about to backfire in a huge way. That was the first one. And the second one is... Um, uh, um, a Taurus offer, uh, a Taurus is about to rescind an offer to a water sign feminine. That is what I heard. Um, so you plug that in, how that resonates, if that resonates in your life. So someone's dirty setup plan is about to backfire. So that could be your dirty setup plan. I hope not, but you know, you're either low vibrational, high vibrational, you know, it's how you manifest and grow yourself in your own life. So hopefully you're high vibrational, but you plug it in how it fits. So someone's dirty setup plans about the backfire could be yours or somebody you're connected to's dirty setup plan. And then a Taurus. So you Taurus, if this resonates with you, I heard you're about to rescind an offer uh, to a water sign fib. So you have offered something to a water sign fib in some shape, form, or fashion in some regard. It's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio feminine energy. Um, but you're about to rescind it. Um, take it uh, rescind means take back for anybody who doesn't know. So you're about to take back the offer. That you have offered this Cancer Pisces Scorpio feminine energy. Um, now it could be an offer of love, it could be an employment opportunity, it could be um, a business collaboration, um, it could be anything you are offering this Cancer Pisces Scorpio fem energy. Like I said, love, business, or um, employment is what I'm thinking, but you plug it in how it resonates if that resonates for you. Um, I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I just want to let everybody know that. I really, really do. From the bottom of my heart chakra, I do. Um, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash up. No Venmo. A Taurus is about to see the true, true colors of a Libra feminine very soon. They're not going to like them. And they're going to speak up very publicly and openly about it. Whoa, so you plug it in how it fits. Holy crap. I heard a Taurus is about to see the true colors of a um, Libra Femme very soon. So true color energy about to come out in the Libra Feminine. They could have Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, Haver, Jupiter charts. Heard you're not going to like them, the true colors, and you're going to speak up very openly and publicly about it. So you could have a public platform. You could just be very high in the community in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, or you could just do it, you're, maybe you're going to do it on social media, maybe you're going to do it on both, public and social media, but you're going to speak up very loud and proud about it, um, about these true, true colors coming out and you don't like them. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. It's a Libra feminine, they call Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, here in Jupiter charts. Six of Pentacles upright, nine of swords upright. A Taurus has been wanting to offer a Leo feminine some love, some an opportunity, wonderful opportunity. However, they have been blackmailed in the past, severe blackmail. The blackmail is about to backfire in a huge way and the wheel is about to start turning. The ball is in your court now, Taurus. Whoa. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates with you. Oh, that's strong. So um, Leo Femme energy in here. Uh, you're pulling in Leo Femme energy. Um, for some of you guys, you wanted to offer Leo Femme love. Some you wanted to offer them a um, um, wonderful um, financial opportunity, whether it's business or employment or whatever, some kind of financial um, opportunity of some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but I heard you were very heavily blackmailed in the past. 
but the blackmail energy is about to backfire in a huge way. And then I heard the balls in your court. court. So once the blackmail, blackmail energy backfires in a huge way, I'm presuming the ball will be in your court, Taurus, for you to offer this to this Leo fam if you wanted to do that. Um, but you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates with you. And for some, it is reward energy. Very deserved reward energy. Was blackmailed by a water sign feminine. Okay. And okay. And for some of you guys, it's reward energy you want to offer. I'm presuming the Leo feminine, or it could be another sign, but you want to offer somebody a reward energy in the past. Um, but I heard you were very heavily blackmailed by a water sign fem, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio fem. You're pulling in Cancer Pisces Scorpio fem energy very strong. Um, and that's about to blow, uh, backfire in a huge way, too. Okay, I heard, and that's about to backfire in a huge way, too. So you plug it in how it resonates. So this is the wanting to offer the Leo either love. This is give or take money aspect. It's pinnacles. It's money. But it could be love for some. For some, it's the love for the Leo. For some, an uh, offer of love. So putting out your romantic feelings out there, I'm presuming. For some, it's offer of some kind of financial business opportunity or employment opportunity or something of that nature, give or take money aspect. Um, and for some, it is the reward energy uh, for a job well done, but you were blackmailed by a water sign femme. So you plug that in, however that resonates. It could be to that Leo femme or to somebody else, because um, I got that message in at the tail end. So you plug those in, however they resonate in your life. But you've been having sleepless nights, stress, anxiety, worry, fear, because you've really, however this plugs into your life, whether you wanted to offer love, financial opportunity, or um, um uh, reward energy um, to this Leo fam or to somebody else. They could have Leo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, and Hammer, Jupiter charts, if that resonates with you. Spirit messages you have for sign of uh, Taurus. A dirty cop Taurus is about to be exposed in a very, very, very huge way by. An officer they never thought would expose them. Oh my God. Wow. I heard a dirty cop Taurus. A dirty cop Taurus is about to be exposed in a huge way by an officer they never thought would expose them. So you plug that in your life, however that resonates, if that resonates with you. Dirty cop energy in here. Uh, it's a dirty cop Tauren. They could have Taurus in their sun, sun moon, rising, Venus, North, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. But, um, you know, there's billions of people in the world. So if you're not the dirty cop, you could just be somebody connected to the dirty cop. Just want to make that clear. Uh, but it's some kind of dirty cop energy in here. But they're about to, it's a Taurus dirty cop. Uh, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, and Midhaven, Jupiter chart, dirty cop Taurus. But they're about to be exposed by someone, it sounds like on their force, another officer, I heard an officer, um, that they would have never thought would expose them but they're about to so um kudos to the upright cop just saying five of pinnacles for it's going it's going to create many 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 series of shame events this dirty cop has lots of money of a fire sign feminine and this officer knows it oh my god whoa okay Holy crap. So this dirty cop Torin has um, a ton of money of a fire sign fem, of an Aries Leo Sag feminine energy um, that um, it's their money. Apparently it's Aries Leo Sag fem energy's money, but somehow this dirty cop has this money. Um, but this other officer knows, knows it. And so they're about to expose it. Um, and it sounds like it's probably going to go very well for this other officer. Um, it is definitely going to go well for them. Definitely. Okay, I heard it's definitely going to go well for them. So good, good, it should. Okay, good. Five of Pentacles reversed, King of Swords reversed, the Star reversed. This dirty cop is about to have many negative series of chain events happen to them. 
They had lots of time in the past to make it right. And their water sign, feminine. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. So I heard this dirty talk. Taurus is about to have uh, many negative series of train events happen to them and their water sign femme. Oh, uh, man. So this is the dirty talk um, energy. Um, not being left out in the cold because of st stolen money. Lies. They have the stolen money, but an officer, another officer knows they have the stolen money. They're about to expose it. Star reversed. This is, they're not going to have success in this because their ass is about to get caught by the other officer um and be exposed and i heard not only they're going to be exposed but i heard their dirty their hole them energy water sign them energy hole is about to be exposed now a hole is like a prostitute so they paid this person for sex services probably on this dirty money of this fire sign them is what i'm presuming i didn't hear that part but that's my guesstimate so they're not going to have success with because they stole this money this is a stolen money energy of the fire sign them they're not going to have success for some, they could be dealing with an Aquarius because this is Aquarius energy or not. If they are, they could have Aquarius in their Seminar Rising Venus North and Mid-Avery Jupiter. But they lied. They lied. They haven't, um, they've been keeping this um, stolen money. This is the energy of them keeping the stolen money that's not fucking theirs and basically paying for sex services to a water sign feminine. Um, I'm presuming the water sign fem knows um, that they're getting paid off dirty money, but hell, they're, they're prostituting their body out anyway. So I'm lord so you plug it in how it resonates oh my god Whew. spirit messages you have for okay a sagittarius and a taurus is about to get in a huge argument soon Brother, sister, energy. Okay, I heard a Sagittarius and a Taurus is about to get in a huge argument soon. Brother, sister, energy. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates with you. You're pulling in a lot of people in here, Taurus, a lot of people. So um, you pl you have to plug yourself in, however you resonate in the situation. Um, but a Taurus and a Sag, um they're brother and sister so you know you could be the brother you could be the sister you could be the Taurus, you could be the side well we're in Taurus's reading so you could be the brother or the sister and you have a brother or sister side so brother sister energy Taurus and side energy heard they're about to get into a verbal conflict hopefully not physical uh sounds verbal i'm feeling verbal but for some it could be physical i hope not i hope not but definitely verbal conflict Brother, sister, energy, torrent, and Sag energy. Um, this, uh, your brother or your sister, Sag, could have Sag in those sun, rising, Venus, or feminine here with Jupiter charts. Um, you plug it in, how it fits. Nine of swords upright, six of swords upright. A Taurus is about to move away very far, far away from their current location. Too much conflict in their current area wants to move to calmer waters. Violence and gangs. Okay, so you plug it in however that resonates for you, if that resonates with you. Um, you live in a rough neighborhood. Um, or rough location if this resonates with you. Heard violence and gangs. I heard you're about to move very soon to a far location away from you. So it's not, you know, five minutes down the street. It's not 20 minutes down the street. It's far. It's far. But it has, has to do with violence and gangs. And I don't blame you. Absolutely. You should be safe. You should want to feel safe. Absolutely. Um, whoever this resonates with. But I heard violence and gangs. So there's some kind of gang activity and violence going, probably increased prevalence of gang violence. In your area or location and, it, and this is the moving to calmer waters energy six swords upright um and 
truth and clarity on the violence in gangs. Um, I feel for some you've seen it actually with your own eyeballs. For some you could have heard it from neighbors. For some you could just see the differences intuitively in your neighborhood or location. Um, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. But this is you moving to a different location. Like I said, I feel for a lot of you guys it's far away. Um, I heard from Spirit it's far location. So it's far away from where you are now. Um, you're moving, you want to, you want peace, you want peace, you don't want to be around violence and gangs, and I don't blame you, not at all, not at all, I don't blame you. Spirit messages you have sign of Spirit. A Taurus is about to run into serious issues, business owner. Paperwork not correct. LLC. Okay, so you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Heard a Taurus is about to run into serious issues um, in their, their business owner. So your business owner, Taurus. Heard you're about to run into serious issues. Your paperwork's not correct. And then I heard LLC. So you own an LLC, a some shape, form, or fashion, but your paperwork's not correct in some shape, form, or fashion. And you're about to run into serious problems because of the paperwork not being correct in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, and apparently you own an LLC. So you don't own a sole proprietorship where it's just you with this business. Um, you have employees under you in some shape, form, or fashion, or you could have employees under you. Um, but there's some, something wrong with your paperwork, um, and you have an LLC, if that resonates with you. Discernment, number 10, be very significant, number 10. Now, also, too, 10 is completion of cycles, completion of cycles, and we've had a lot of that in here. Um, completion of cycle, moving far locations away from gangs and violence. Looks like this is going to wrap up with this dirty cop energy, stealing from a fire sign femme with another officer providing important information on this, and this a prostitute, water sign, femme, probably is going to be exposed in the crosshairs in this as well, it sounds like. And um, um, black male energy coming to an end. Completion of cycle, completion of cycle, completion of cycle. I mean, that confirms it with number 10 up there. So discernment. A particular Taurus did not have good discernment in the past. But their intuition is really spiking, is vowing to make better choices from now on. Learning from lessons. Well, that's a good one if that resonates with you. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates with you. Um, I heard basically you did not have good intuition in the past, um, but your intuition is really spiked now. It's really peaking right now, but you made poor decisions in the past, poor choices in the past. And, you know, everybody makes poor choices from time to time, but it's learning and growing from those. Absolutely. Um, but I heard you're going to make better choices. You're vowing. You are vowing. It sounds like you from the spirit message is going to, you're going to vow to make better choices from here on out. So you're going to use your discernment, your logic, your reason, your judgment, and your intuition, which is spiking, if this resonates with you, which is peaking and spiking, to make better decisions from here on out. Now, that could be in pleasure, that could be business, that could be um, personal relationships, that could be universal love, that could be um, not succumbing to blackmail energy or stealing money from a fire sign femme or utilizing, I mean, of course, everybody has free will to, you know, I believe in loving who you want to love, but a hoe is not love. That's $200 for a reverse cowgirl. That's a business transaction. So, I mean, just making better choices is what I'm trying to say. Just making better freaking choices, however that plugs into your life, if that plugs into your life. Um, this is a really beautiful message if this resonates with you. Um, you you're recognizing. You are self-reflecting. You are recognizing you made better, bad choices in the past, but you're vowing inside yourself to make better choices. And it would be a problem if you didn't want to make better choices, but you are wanting to make better choices. So that is good if this resonates with you. That's good. That's absolutely good. So you plug it in how that resonates, that resonates for you. Discernment, 
um, you're vowing to make better choices from here on out. I say freaking lootly. You go with your bad self. Let me see if I hear anything else. Ryan, Chelsea, Parker, Sarah. Ryan, Chelsea, Parker, and Sarah. Kirby, Leon. Kirby and Leon. Alfonso. Sergio. Alfonso and Sergio. Okay. Okay. I didn't hear anything else. Okay. So that could be your name, somebody you're connected to's name, first name, middle name, last name, um, nickname, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you plug those in, those names in, however they resonate for you, if they do. All right. I love you guys. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, messages, please share these videos on your social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Single mom, single mom with two kids. So I very, very, very much appreciate it. Love you guys so much. Namaste.